Hare Krishna. So it's a beautiful shloka which will inspire us to take to the process of chanting Hare Krishna in general. Otherwise, engaging ourselves in Krishna Katha as much as possible or exclusively also. Theme is, sun is killing everyone but not one person. Who is that person? Quite interesting. So this is a shloka spoken by Shauna Krishi. Uh, yes, Shauna Krishi. To Sutta Goswami. In second canto, third chapter, text number 17. Ayur harati vaipum samudhyanastam chayannasau tasyarte yachado nita uttam shloka vartaya So it says Ayur harati vaipum sam certainly vai means certainly the sun is harati the sun is stealing away Harati means stealing away by force, not by stealth. By force, it is stealing away Ayu, the lifespan of Pumsam, every living entity. What an amazing statement is that. Young, old, women, men, old or rich or poor, everyone's life is being equally Slashed off, so to speak. How? Udyan astam chayan nasau. Asau means this sun. Maybe Shona Krishi is actually looking at the sun and saying, indicating. Asau means this. Asau not necessarily means sun. But when you say he, like this. So it's asau. This sun is rising and uh, is rising and setting. And it is simply removing the lifespan of everyone. Tasya rite, accept that person. Tasya means accept of, of that person. Accept that person. Yat shadhanita, whose even one, one second nita brings. Nita means to bring. It brings uttam shloka vartava. Accept that person whose even one moment brings him topics or discussions about Lord Shri Krishna. The word uttam shloka means. Uttam Shloka means Krishna who is glorified in great poetry by great people like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. And by hearing his glorification, a person rises above the mode of ignorance. Uttam Shloka Vartaya. That means topics or discussions about Lord Shri Krishna. So the meaning of this Shloka is, certainly the, the sun by rising and by setting, is cutting off the lifespan of everyone except that person who engages his time in discussing about Krishna. Srila Prabhupada writes a beautiful purport in this and he says this shloka emphasizes the great value or greater value of human form of life for acceleration of devotional service by the process of hearing and chanting. That means through the process of hearing and chanting, a person is accelerated in his love for God. That is, how, that is what the human life is meant for. It is not a side business. So now, uh, Srila Prabhupada explains it very beautifully. He says that just like one tree has different branches. And if on one branch, one fruit has come, one branch has fructified into a fruit. Then you will say the whole tree has fructified. Beautiful explanation. Similarly, if one moment of the whole life of a person has been spent in topics about Krishna, his whole life has become fructified, has become useful. See, in the sense you can understand the first line is indicating that our life is getting uselessly wasted if we don't hear and chant about Krishna. Ayur harati vai pumsam is just getting stolen away. And it's interesting that you don't talk about stealing of something which is of no value. Do you agree? Don't say somebody has stolen mud from my home. We only talk about stealing a stealth of wealth. Something which is valuable is stolen. So now the word is pumsa means human beings. In the human form of life, 
the human form of life time span is extremely less and extremely valuable and that valuable and extremely less time is being taken away by some that is the point we basically our time is getting wasted if we don't talk about krishna or don't chant his holy names and if even if one moment has been spent it will ensure that a person will get entrance into the spiritual world how shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur explains in a beautiful way in the purport there prabhupad quotes that that according to smriti shastra if you give one something to anyone it will come in the same amount you give one rupee to anyone it will come for sure next life if you give it to a half qualified brahmana it will come twice as much if you give to a qualified brahmana then it will come 100 times more and if you give to a brahmana who is a ved paraga brahmana who has cross over the conclusion of vedas that means a devotee because the purpose of vedas is to know krishna and you know krishna by devotional service so a devotee only is ved paraga brahmana ved paraga paraga means crossed over and veda means vedas so that means a person who has crossed over the conclusion of vedas is a devotee and so if a, if we give a donation to a devotee then that donation will come back to us as infinite then in, in infinite form so now again you reflect upon it then proper says say, that's why time spent in hearing and chanting about krishna in the association of a pure devotee comes back as unlimited time that means entrance into spiritual world so uh, you can understand that all of us have 24 hours and that cannot be purchased by any amount of wealth so basically what wealth we have the only wealth which we have is our time so when we are sitting down with the devotee and chanting hare krishna mantra or hearing about krishna then we are basically giving our time to a devotee and we say can you give me some time we use that expression is it not can you give me some time and he said no we don't have some time or like that so is a person is giving his time to a devotee chanting hare krishna mantra with him or her or you know hearing bhagavatam discussing bhagavatam that time is returned by krishna in the form of unlimited time and unlimited time is only in the spiritual world so shila prabhupad while explaining has a beautiful lecture on this he says that if you chant hare krishna hear this carefully if you chant hare krishna if you read bhagavatam if you engage in devotional service you don't die then again prabhupad in the, in the purport says but somebody says no we see that a devotee is becoming old so how do you say that that he is he is not dying so he says the prabhupad explains it, a devotee is becoming old is simply is an impetus for his eternal spiritual life just like if this door is closed open so if a person wants to go out so as he is going closer to the door he is going closer to his mukti or liberation similarly a devotee is becoming old or rather his body is becoming old but that is only a symptom of his going closer to his liberation so this is very very powerful shloka ayur harati vai pum sam udyanastan chayan nasau tasyar tasyar te rat yat shano nita uttam shloka vartaya so basically our life should be spent as much as possible if not fully but best is fully but as much as possible talking about krishna discussing about krishna chanting hari krishna and engaging in his devotional service so we'll chant hari krishna now Thank you. Shri Hari Nam Prabhu ki jai, Shri Prabhu Pat ki jai.